track. And that gives you like a platform where you can speak for those who don't have a voice. So what is your intentions with your music, your projects that, you know, to give to your audience, listeners, you know, as far as inspiring, you know, the game, yeah. you know, or is it just all about the lifestyle that you want to promote? Like, well, what you say? I, like people that's from Frisco, that's from my neighborhood, mm -hmm. they know me. So I just want them to see me doing my thing and be like, it's possible. So when I was like, a lot of my cousins and a lot of people that I grew up with in the streets, they doing music. Mm -hmm. And I know I have an influence on them. Mm -hmm. Just from them seeing, like, damn, this nigga used to hang out on the block with us. Now this nigga on MTV. Right. Now this nigga on tours. Now right. this nigga on Love and Hip Hop. You feel me? Right. So it's just about being being a, a person that can overcome just being in front of the hood. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what I represent. Being a motherfucker that the motherfucker be like, man, that nigga used to hang on the block. That nigga used to be up to no good. Now he. Doing, you know what I mean? Okay. Transition, you know what I mean? So that's what really my shit, show man, that's what it all is about. Transitioning, okay. being in front of the streets, coming from the streets all my life, seeing nothing but death all my life, seeing nothing but niggas pimping hoes all my life. That's very to relatable too to, to, yeah, to, yeah, to be, you, know? you feel me? Being seen as selling crack all my life, you know what I mean? So just being able to transition from that mm -hmm. and not do none of that shit. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. still, you know what I mean? Yep. Of course, in my music, it's heavily influenced by that type of shit. But you know what I mean? I'm just being somebody that my brother can see and maybe I can I can do it too. Exactly. I'm big on chasing dreams, so Definitely. that's why that's, that's what I feel like I add to the culture. Okay. And so I wanna switch up a little bit, I wanna talk about just a few current events. Um, you know, that whole silly beef between Chris Brown and Soldier Boy. Yeah. What is your what is your views on that? Do you think it's a publicity stunt? Do you think it's problematic to the industry, you know, for artists to get caught up on beef versus what really matters, you know, with music and hip hop and culture? Honestly, I don't think it's a publicity stunt for Chris Brown because he don't need it. <laughs> right. uh, maybe Soldier Boy, but at the, at the same time, they both famous. But I feel like, I like what they're doing with it as far as now they're about to box or whatever. It's just, you know what I mean? Now they pushing the, the guns up, hands up type of thing. Right, so, right. I like that part about it. At the end of the day, it's funny too. It's entertaining. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I mean, that's what music is about, entertaining. So, you know what I mean? Long as they don't kill each other or nothing, like, it's just entertaining. So. Right. Got you. You got a point. You got a point. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So. I want to see him box, though. I do want to see talk. that, too, because honestly, I feel like Chris Brown, obviously, that's an easy call, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. I mean, there. you never know, though, because, I mean, <laughs> I'm it's sorry, like it's no. like in the streets though. You know, I'm not saying like I'm not saying that C B not gonna win or whatever. I'm but you just saying saw that though, workout it, video of Soulja Boy. I know you saw that workout video of Soulja Boy. But it's one in a fight, one punch can change the whole fight. He can get Chris Brown, hit him a certain way. And, you right. You know what I mean? Might so I heard. you never just wanna just doubt a motherfucker and be like, Oh, you know what I mean? Because everybody would be like on Chris Brand wagon, but Soldier Boy getting there and knock him out. Everybody gonna be like, "Oh shit, I knew Soldier had it, bro." Right? Come on, nigga, just sleeping on Soldier, bro. I told nigga. Right. It's just about you know what I mean. I don't underestimate nobody because you it could be the buffest nigga in the street get knocked out by the skinny. That's singer. super true. Though. So it's like you know what I mean. I've seen that before. <laughs> so speaking like, of guns, you know, putting hands up, putting guns up, but yeah. you know, even a current event with like Tax uh, Tax Stone mm -hmm. and the Troy Ave shooting. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like? Now you got, as an artist, when you go to your shows, you go on tours, and you're out in public, you got to carry your gun around you to protect yourself, or? No, because I, 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 don't, I don't embrace that lifestyle. I'm not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've been off of that. I moved, I got moved away from my city because I was riding around with guns and having guns in my mama's house. My mom felt the dude's five and a 20 clip. And when I was 15, I was going to school 10th grade every day with a gun. So I got that shit out of me, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I feel like it's a lot of niggas trying to prove themselves. So I don't have shit to prove. I'm not embracing that lifestyle. I'm not telling niggas to ride around with a gun. So I don't bring that that energy. So mm -hmm. I don't feel like I need to have a gun. You know what I mean? Like so at the end of the day, I'm not one of them niggas that see a bunch of niggas and be like, what you want? What you want? Looking at me. You know I mean? Like, I, right. I like females. So I'm going to look at women. I'm not going right. to come into a place and just stare at a man and be like, what's up, bro? Right, right. Like, it's corny. Oh, like, you know what I mean? I hate when niggas do that. Like, bro, why are you looking at me, bro? Are you like, you, you, like, like, you, know, like, you, you think I'm cute or something? Like, no homo, but it's like, why are you right. staring at me? Like, I hate, I hate, and it's like, it's black people that do that. You know what I mean? Like, and that's a big thing. Like, that, it, that can, niggas die over that. Just coming in there and just trying to be hella hard. You looking at a nigga, you don't even know this nigga got a gun on. He can smoke you right now. You just, 
you know what I mean? Like right. I had that today. I went to Roscoe's. Like mm-hmm. I was by myself with some nigga. It was like gang niggas. They just looking me up and down. I'm just like, bro, why y'all looking at me so hard? Because I just got out of the car. You know what I mean? With right. a girl or somewhere. Like, ooh, why are you looking at me so hard? Like I don't understand. Right. Like, you feel me? Like you don't know me at all. I'm from San Francisco. So I know you don't know me. What are you, right. what are you staring at me so hard for? Right. And I just feel like that's something that people need to stop doing. You know what I mean? Mind your business. If you see somebody, oh, he oh, fresh or something, like, like salute. That's it what pops. I do. You know what I mean? Bro, you fresh, bro. I fuck with you. Woo, woo. Right. I, I, I feel like that's the problem with black people. Like, we don't know how to be a fan of somebody or give a nigga props. Mm-hmm. We are our number one haters. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. why right, white rappers aren't the biggest thing ever because white people support white people. Mm-hmm. Black people hate on black people. It's competition. It's competition. Yeah, and and it's stupid. like, it's unfortunate because it's problematic. I know it kind of could stem from, you know, just you're raising, you know, like where black people, you know, are inner cities, you know, it's so much competition. It's like, you already got to compete with the white man and then you got to exactly. compete with, you know, your brother for a job or something. Exactly. Everybody out here trying to eat. That's what I'm saying. Everybody after the same thing. So it's like, let's work together for it. Exactly. Let's not against each other. That's not how it is. You could have a black store, black owned store, then you could have a, a white owned store. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you, the black people are going to skip the black on store and go into the white store. Never it. Never it. That's just how it is. We gonna change that though. And see, that's why I feel like when you have a platform and you in a position to where you can have an influence, I yeah. think that's really important to push that. So I really respect that. I'm glad that that's where your mind is at with this yeah. and, you know, keep it up, keep that going. Um, I do want to speak on, you know, it's 2017, we got a new president coming into office. So there also has been backlash on, you know, black celebrities that have had meetings with, you know, Donald Trump. You know, some people not feeling it, like Steve Harvey, Kanye West. But I want to ask you, if you had a meeting with Donald Trump, you know, this year as president, a show banger, what would that meeting consist of? Or what is something that you would want to talk to him about? Like, know? really, what, what is your plan to do for world? Like, you already ready. Mm-hmm. You already got life figured out. Mm-hmm. What do you, how do you feel like you're going to change the world? Mm-hmm. How do you feel like you're going to do better than all about Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What is your occupation of being a president? What do you feel like you're going to change? What are you, what are you trying to change? Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. I mean? Are you trying to help, you know what I mean, the, the, up, the lower class or trying to help the upper class be more upper class to still, right. you know keep what I mean? Gap keep that gap. Yeah, what are, you, what are you really trying to do? Right. So I, I think that's what the celebrities are doing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They're, they're trying to see what is, you know what I mean? Yeah. What is he trying to do? So I mean. And that's what you want. And at the end of the day, you, I mean, we don't have no choice now, so we got to get a man a chance. You know mm-hmm. I mean? He won. He's the president. So it's like, yeah. now we, we don't have no choice. Right. It's like, you got to get a the man. You might not like him. It's just like going to work. You know, and I like your boss. It's just you got to go to work. Right. You, you got to get his money, you know. Exactly. So yeah. he got to be the president. So we, we got to, you know what I mean, see what he going to have to offer. So at the end of the day. So what if, you know, you met with him, boom, and he was like, well, show banger, I want to give you you know, a million dollars and I want you to take that to your community, you know, and you choose what you decide to do with it. What are you doing with that million dollars for your community? I'm going to be out to Boys and Girls Club, um, uh, you know, some affordable private schools and stuff, mm-hmm. do some stuff like that. The education. Yeah, throw so little talent like. shows, just, you know. That's dope. Buy better basketball courts for the hood, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Better parks and shit. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. And um, what advice would you give, you know, aspiring artists or just, you know, anyone who's chasing their dreams, you know, whether it be to be a doctor, veterinarian, to be president, uh, astronaut, or a rapper, actor, you know, what is uh, some advice that you would give them on their journey, you know, to not give up? Never stop okay. chasing, ever. Believe in yourself. It's never ending. I'm chasing your dreams, chasing your dreams forever. Mm-hmm. Forever and ever. Until you die. Never give up. Mm-hmm. No matter yeah. how long it takes. You know what I mean? Right. So keep chasing. Um, keep believe chasing. in yourself. Never let a motherfucker tell you you can't keep something. Because they probably telling you because they don't about it, not believe in themselves. Mm-hmm. I love it. So I also want you to tell the people, you know, where they could find you, um, any of your music, upcoming projects, you yeah. know, all of that. Well, you can find me on um, social media, show you for mayor, S H O W Y, number four mayor. That's my my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and everything else.